to Warner Brothers for the game code. And this is part three of my walkthrough here. Now, depending on how long I play for today, we may actually finish the main quest and the main side quest. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I want to say a big thanks to the support on the first couple of live streams and videos so far. It's been great. And if you enjoy this stream, if you enjoy the video, do consider hitting that like button below. So the last time we played, it turned into winter. So now there's snow everywhere. And I have actually played a little bit off stream. So I've done a few like boring assignments and stuff. I've got a couple of new spells as well, which we'll be testing out today. I've organized my skills too, which is super cool. And we've leveled up a bit too. But with that said, we've got a really cool quest here where we're going to go and meet Poppy Sweeting. And this is about poachers. So let's get it. I don't know what's happening here. Is that man practicing on a centaur? No. We, we can't stand for that, can we? That's the new Bombarda spell. Look at that. <laughs> Just freeze them. Get rid of this poacher ranger. I think this centaur is going to help me. So this is a couple of the new... Uh, this one here. That's a new one. It's like a long range... Fire... Skill, I suppose. Bombarda does a lot of damage too. Beautiful. We're looking good. We are looking good here today. I'm not sure about these centaurs. They seem to be okay with me. I am still feeling a little bit sick. So I apologize if my voice sounds a bit horse and ropey today but you know i've got a, a bit of a cold going down so it is what it is hopefully it's not too distracting i am really looking forward to playing today i think she's up here somewhere Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Oh, you wanted me to wait. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Why would I ever meet her gran? Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of I'm this. I'm going to tell her everything. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Poppy Sweeting is always up to no good. But this quest is called Fire and Vice. I have played this at a capture event about a month ago now. It's a really cool quest. But for a lot of you guys, you might be seeing it for the first time. I'll just pretend I've never played it. How about that? A centaur. Tread carefully. 
An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. They don't like us. Uh, Josh, thank you for the 42. That's very kind of you. And Jay, <laughs> thank you for the five. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. I don't think you can ride the centaurs. Happy trails. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. The beasts are going crazy. Rebellion. What's up, FaZe? How you doing? Did I get Crucio? Yes, I did. So the Dark Arts quest we're going to do later with Sebastian. It's going to be super cool. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? We're Columbo now. Pelt. Poor beasts. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio. There's a chest here. I did a couple of Merlin quests as well. You know, the puzzles. And that means that I've got more gear space now. So I'm not going to be like deleting and having to sell all the gear that I pick up all the time. Which is going to be really useful. What house did I end up belonging to? I chose... Um, what did I... I chose... I can't wait to explore. And I chose... Curiosity. Or something like that. So... I ended up in Gryffindor. And I decided to just like... Stick with what it gave me. You can Rebellion. choose... Did I miss something here? Oh, I did miss something. But yeah, I just stuck with Gryffindor. Also, I'm Harry Potter, so... I think it makes sense that... This is goblin I'm in Gryffindor. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Carlos, thank you for the tent. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin. goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. You can choose your I house. I have a good feeling about this. Poppy, you're too slow. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Stealth mode engaged. What do the houses actually do? Well, it depends where your dorm is, and I think it depends which characters you meet first. You can be a witch or a wizard, Cupcake. No, it doesn't warrant a look. Nothing to see. Nothing to see I'm here. Goodbye.
beautiful. Revelio, you'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Thank you, Unbridled Artistry. Appreciate that. It's just a, it's just a cold. I'll be fine. I haven't been sick for a while. Last time I was sick, it was COVID, which I think was May last year, something like that. I need Reparo here. Just put it on the top there for a second. Reparo. Yeah, I've not learned Nevada Kadaver yet. I looked it up. You have to be level 25 or something and then you get the quest. Revelio. Can get all this stuff. Put that back on there. Oh, there's something around here I nearly missed. What in Merlin's name? It's Dragon Visor. Dragons? Yes, indeed. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run now a fight where's with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. The mother of dragons. Uh, Luca, thank you for becoming a member. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be a dead prize. Then a what victor was sinking straight in a bargain with him. Oh, excuse me. Obviously, I... <laughs> I was trying to do the Petrificus Totalis on that guy, but messed it up. He must have seen me. Maybe I was a bit too Rebellion. fast. Wait, hang on. Was there another route there? Poppy! Poppy, please. Think about the children. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. So cool that you can just watch the dragons have a fight. It looks good. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? It's a gorgeous looking game. Family, as even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking, will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to get me precisely what I want. That's mean. Oh, there's actually a chest there, so. <sighs> Oh, that doesn't take me out. That doesn't take me out of stealth. <laughs> what? I think you're stuck, mate. Whee! Uh. Yeah, I had to see what was in the chest. A clockwork fedora. Any of you guys in chat have a clockwork hat? No? Is that a normal thing for people to have? I'm gonna go smash some dark wizards and goblins up here. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. 
What's going on down there? I'm trying to tame a dragon. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Oh yeah, I did increase the FOV a bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed. You can change the FOV on PC. Maybe, can you do that on console as well? I'm not sure, but I, I increased it a little bit. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it Rebellion. here. Not with the plans they likely have for it. Right, we're going to take this dragon egg. Does that mean we can hatch it like a Hogwarts? Board. That's it. Bit tricky. We got it. Thank you, Harold. It's very kind of you. I am quite a dark wizard, Chris. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, unforgivable right. curses already. I have the egg. Ready. I have the egg. Will only buy us a few seconds. I am an egg. Let's make them count. I mean, I guess. Oh. I was about to say, I could do it stealthy, and then I pressed the wrong button. See that there? That's a new ability I've got. It's a trait. So if I do a perfect parry, it sends back a couple of bolts at them, like that, and it can actually attack other people. Really useful. A wizard. You're the one we're looking for, and you do a friend. And oh, it's an animagus. That's cool. So I think they can turn into animals, like so. Hello. Come on, you. Watch out. But they're really annoying, the ones at the top. I'm a bit of that, mate. Get him over here. Come here. Come here! <laughs> I can't hear him, that's so annoying. There we go. Well, oh, how's your forehead, mate? We need to free her now before more show up. It's gotta hurt. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out.
This way. We did it, chat. Toasty. It is toasty. <laughs> All those wizards just died, man. They just got flamed by that dragon. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. And we've just stolen it, yeah. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. I mean, they, yeah, they definitely saw us. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Let's make it hatch, Poppy. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Do that, Poppy. I don't know why I'm talking like that. That's not, that's not what Harry Potter sounds like. Oh, we did get a talent point then. Look at that view, guys. Oh. Wow, what a view. I bet in daytime that looks incredible. I got a talent point, didn't I? Let's have a look, shall we? There is a... Is it this one? Yeah, I feel like that's a good one. So if I hold dodge... I should be able to... Look at that! Oh. After you've completed the required tasks, which will certainly prove useful in finishing your field, attend my class and learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Oh. 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 Right, Professor Weasley, what do you want from me? Collect field page in the underground harbour. Collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. Okay, we can head down there. Crucio. Oh, they'll be they'll be crucial use. Don't you guys worry. Don't you worry. I've got it right there. You can't just crucio random students though. Though I did actually end up crucioing. What's his face, Sebastian? Underground Harbor. How do I even like? Get there. I don't think I've been around here. Oh, look at this. This is sweet. Can you use Crucio in jewels? No, you can't. This place is awesome. There's a chest over there. There's two. Let's have a look. An identified hand item. Rebellion. Oh. Did you see me? No. So this is the underground harbor. Viaduct courtyard. Can you dive while swimming? You can't do it manually, Siddharth. But there are points in the game where you see like uh, bubbles on the surface and then 
you dive and then you go to a new area or you might find some loot for example but no there's no underwater swimming like in zelda or uncharted 4 for example I think maybe if they do a sequel, they could have that. I was thinking about what they might do for a sequel. They could do, like, the real world. London, Paris. And then occasionally you have to go back to Hogwarts or... That book Professor Weasley asked me to find... Maybe Diagon Alley. Somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Don't mess me around. Professor Weasley asked me to... Are you going to um, make me do stuff? Uh, ...get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book... No. Oh. ...if you humour me by answering a few questions no. from my quiz. Quiz? <laughs> Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. No! I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have... Quidditch should be great, yeah. ...a small quiz... Just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. <sighs> a quiz sounds like fun. <laughs> Splendid. Just a few questions. I and hate then this NPC. This book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Are you kidding me? The Golden Snuggery. No. Incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. Of course. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? That's in the movie, isn't it? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized We're learning here, guys, about Harry Potter. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? I've got no idea. The three brothers founder's relics the founder's relics no the answer was the deathly Hallows. Oh, of course according to beadle the bard the deathly hallows consists of the elder wand the resurrection stone and the cloak of invisibility which ball in quidditch is the largest which ball in quidditch the bludger or the quaffle the bludger is the one that tries to kill you the quaffle is the one that you throw the quaffle that's right when a chaser such throws a nerd. the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Polyjuice Potion? True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Damn it. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions. Either. They were not easy. The next ones will be more difficult. They... I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio need to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should have watched the movies be, like again before I played this game. I've seen the first three recently, but the last ones, no. There was some like end game, end movie questions there. If I'd have seen Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 recently. 10 out of 10. They were easy. Not for me. <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Oh, 
got to advance time here. Have I even watched the... Yeah, I have. I have watched the movies. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Poppy. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Yes. The transformation spell. But first, I'd like you to carry out a couple of tasks which will help you to complete your field guide. Attend my transfiguration class once you've done them and we can begin the lesson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Hermione turns into a cat. Or like half cat. She messes up the spell, right? Wait, what? I'm an idiot. They, they change into um, Malfoy's mates, don't they? I've literally just watched that as well. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. It's just your eyesight. She did turn the owl into now, a book, that's correct. You all know what to do. Yep, I know what to do. I know that spell. Watch, just watch me do it right now, miss. Nailed it. Big butterfly. That is quite a large butterfly. I would class that as more of a giant moth than a butterfly. Beautifully done. What's it? Oh, it's the one in the top there. Oh, that didn't work. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Why are you telling me Thank that? You, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. The dark arts, you mean? Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Miss, that wizard in the background needs some help. He needs some help. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWL. If I have to take an I'll exam in this game, I'm going to uninstall. That time to ensure that you're ready for your exam. I will uninstall. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Uh, Richard, thank you for the 10 bucks. You wish FOV was adjustable on console. So you can't then. It's not. Is he still stuck? My dude. Oh, wait, that's Sebastian. Sebastian. Since our visit to Selfhoft, He's literally right there talking to me. Meet me at the Overlook. Just has been forced, and I'll explain plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. A goblin mine? And bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Okay. Yeah, I know someone who speaks gobbledygook. It's me. Every day on YouTube. 
That's what I do. It's my job. It's all gobbledygook. In the shadow of the mine. So I think we're going to learn another dark spell from this. But which one? I'm not a gnome. I'm a gnoblin. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon dark magic <laughs> is always the answer. You should know that by now, miss. And you've been gnomed! Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We're going hard and fast. We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Skate, if After I like you. Wii Sports, will I like this game? Yeah. In fact, the developers, Avalanche, modeled this game off Wii Sports. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Did I not? I took. I took the invisibility off, didn't I? I'm interested to try out the transfiguration spell, though. I'll be quieter than a jobber. You better be, Sebastian. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Be very, very quiet. We can sneak past all these. Look at that, easy peasy. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Uh, it's getting darker and darker, isn't it? It is getting darker and darker. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. You'd be bloody scrapping right now, wouldn't Perhaps you, Sebastian? An alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal. Sneaky, sneaky. We can go in loud, or we can be sneaky beaky like. We're making quick progress. Can't use spells when you crouch. I don't know why. The wizards will. The wizards. Hogwarts Legacy Battle Royale, that would be sick. Imagine 150 wizards drop into Hogwarts. One survives. Quietly now. For better or for worse, we're in. I mean it is Unreal Engine 4, so they could easily do multiplayer, I, I reckon. Myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. The boss. Ah! One less human to work. How's the view down there, lads? This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. 
Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Hello. What was that? Not for a minute, <laughs> Literally turned him into a barrel. Too many. Something here they want. I say not enough. Yeah, someone in the chat said they kind of wish that this was on Unreal Engine 5. I mean, it would certainly look a lot better on Unreal Engine 5, but I think it looks pretty good. Also, they've been building this game for like five years, so it, ledge is awfully high. it may have been Any difficult ideas? to... It may have been difficult to, um, you know, port it all over kind of thing. I didn't mean to do that. I need to... That's it. Now I need to freeze it. Or maybe I can just jump up there. See, I always... The problem with my brain is that I always think the solution it's no wonder spiders give is more elaborate. Bumps. Could be the hairy legs. It never is. Or the solar sides, Or the venomous fangs. Or any number of endearing qualities. I don't mind spiders. Except for when they get to like medium size and then I I can't stand them. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. I guess I can repair that. Repairer. Uh, Gamble, thank you for the two. Big old cabin. Hello. The new type of spider. I mean, they seem to hate fire just as much as the other spiders. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Expelliarmus, bombarder. You can just smash everything with that spell. It's cool. Quidditch clubs, very good. I have to use Lumos here and get rid of the eels. Lumos, Lumos. Sebastian, you know it. Oh wow, I was getting like 40 FPS in there, what the hell?
Oh, that looks good. Hey, Gabby. What's up, Kevin? Talk Eclipse. Aragog's lair. Maybe. Nearly done that challenge there, 40. Hey Dampy, the game it's cool or what? Serious. Yeah, it's really good. Rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Bring me a dozen humans to battle. Oh, take how nice of you to stop by. Bombarder. Oh, I missed that. Get rid of him. That's really cool. So that's another talent I have. If someone is hit by Crucio and then I hit them, they fire out like little orbs to attack other people. that one For a Slytherin, you Gryffindors don't have a monopoly. Right? You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Imagine saying that to someone. Bit of friendly banter, I assume. A room above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. You know about this? Rebellion. Oh, I think there's some cobwebs in the way. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rooms. Protego. Bombarda. Bombarder. Incendio. Defender. Expelliarmus. Where is it? That one. Confringo. That. You've seen that about 50 times, Sebastian. Don't lie to me. The weird symbol on the wall there. At least he is no longer in what pain. 
Revenge. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel Sebastian, more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. What is that? Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Check on Sebastian. Is he sad? Is... What's wrong, Sebastian? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Perhaps so. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Eric, Eric, Eric sorry, Eric, Eric clicks. I don't think Crawford. there's romance options in this game. Let's no. have a look around. Revelio. Confringo. I mean, I've not seen any hint of that yet, anyway. Does anyone in chat know? Why did you make your character look like Stubby? He looks like Harry Potter. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A goblin. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. Is he friendly a though, friendly chat? Goblin. Is he? You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Sebastian, not all goblins are evil. Unbelievable. It's that simple. No, I'm going to expel the armor shoe if you're not careful. Give me that attitude again. When I get a Vada Kadava. You know what's going to happen. He looks like Stoddy. Someone with glasses and brown hair. I mean, is that... It? I don't think that looks like Stud. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> we could Crucio him again. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Mello, thank you for becoming a member. James, thank you for the 11 months. That's very kind of you. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Peeves, <laughs> you're going to get it as well, mate. The ghost can slide down the banister. Why can't I? Hello there. Hello there. Hello, Armit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw goblin. in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. 
Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. This is going to end badly. This is... There's, there's going to be a murder. There's going to be a murder. Something's going to go down. I know it. I won't be responsible for the death of a student. Have I played Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, I have, Mohammed. I didn't complete it. I played it for about four or five hours. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. See what I'm saying, chat? Like, something's going to happen. There's too much foreshadowing. Also, I learned that if you fly close to the ground, your boost doesn't go, so you can fly quicker. Look at this swamp area. I don't know where they are, Ennis. Not really had many interactions with them. A goblin! A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker, if we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. But the wizards Greetings, don't trust the goblins answer. with wands you and magic. Speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. I could do that. Pronunciation. Oh, is yeah, not yo. Issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodcock. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. 
either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Uh, I'll meet tonight. This is a proper this. stealth mission by the sounds of it. Turn. Being revealed will end up in I failure, I assume. Soon. Enter the goblin mine. Someone in chat asked if I could take on Dobby in a 1v1. I suppose that depends on if Dobby can like use magic or not. If Dobby can't use magic, then yeah, easy. Like he's just like a tiny little guy, isn't he? That's an easy 1v1. But if he if he uses magic, then no, no the way. Door is looking at us. He's got a Glock as well, so gotta be careful. You didn't see nothing, did you? Look at surprise. The mind's eye. Dobby can what use magic. There's no way then. Bear one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I'm just trying to figure out the rules here, I you know? I believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Incendio. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I'm it, get in here. You just disapparated onto it, apparently. What's up, Marta? How you doing? I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio. The hell? What was the point of me doing that? I just started up the rock machine. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. You better keep up with me, Amit. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Uh A simple distraction. Well, so much for not being seen. I thought. <laughs> That's the last lawyer. Chat. I thought that. that was a little more okay, you know how in that previous mission. I'll get us through his safety, I'll meet. <laughs> when I was invisible and I threw the sandbag at the goblin and it didn't reveal me. Apparently, if you throw an explosive barrel. That's a different kettle of fish. That does, in fact, reveal you. Yep, we do not wish to be seen, Amit. So don't give yourself away again, please, like you just did. It's really imperative that you don't give yourself away. Don't throw barrels at people. Oh, Don't do any of that. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around our meat. See if we can find any plans. I could see some goblins. Why be plans around here? A schematic? They're building something. Quite make it out. That's no moon. There must be more notes around here. Revelio. That's the Death Star. I'm it. The Death Star. A planet killer. <laughs> Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they did with Mr. Dallas. Someone's here. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I'm sorry. I should check my gear. I've not checked my gear the whole stream.
52 offense. I do have a nice little trait on that one, though. This is all crap. I'm just getting crap. Give me the good stuff, game. What's going on? A straight up RPG Harry Potter. I mean, it might as well be a Harry Potter game, though, sure. Revelio. That K might be good. Come on, Harry Potter. When there's some stairs around here, yep. Oh, it's a dead end. Interesting. Is it Leviosa or Leviosa? It dep depends how you pronounce it, you know? What's your voice sound like? Rebellion. It's Leviosa. Right here. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. It's the Death Star. I told you, Amit. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. You didn't see nothing. No one's there. No one Why did that not hurt me? Like I was right next to it. Look at that, that's so OP. I love that. Oh my god. They're like Ewoks. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex. Another schematic. What are they going? You want to, to see do? the Sonic thing? This okay. Line is too small for so you have to hold it down instead. Incendio. God damn it. I mean, I did tell you guys, I upgraded my gear slots. I've got, apparently, I've got to do it again. I've just got too much stuff. Don't need those glasses anyway. Good evening, Sonka. How you doing? Flora Fedora. Am I just doing the goblin's job? I think I should be helping him out. Nothing up there. It is cool, Curious Max. It's such a cool game. Try and do it stealthy, chat. They may see me though. Back on pudding. Mistook you for a troll the other day. Mm. 
You get too close. I notice you though. That's cool. a barrel how do you feel about that <laughs> he was still in there oh no with his last breath he got that me be the last of them, mommy. this is shocking can't believe that he got a last hit on me i've let you all down chat i'm sorry I'm so sorry Yeah, I'm gonna go through there. Is there another engine in here that I can fire up? No, it doesn't look like it. That's an elevator or something. Voldemort's got competition. Yeah, he has. All the more actually learn from this student. Look at that. Nice little puzzle there. Is it just a chest up here, chat? What is it? Don't think I've found all the plans. I'd best keep looking. Okay, I've come here a bit too early then. I like the contextual chatter in this game from the characters. There are some games that you play quite a few recently in the last like two years where the main character or characters that are with you just talk all the time and constantly give you hints. About. You'll see. But this game, I think, does quite a good job of it. Like, I would have wasted a load of time then, you know? This is not good. They're building enormous it looks like a death star. Yeah, it's a death star. Could a, a large spherical object. Tell Lodcott what we found. Like, I don't mind a hint every now and again, especially if I'm stuck, this was more but constant chatter is just annoying. Glad you came with me, I don't know how now you guys feel. Up to, we, can get out of here. we have to retrieve the plans for Princess Poggers. Yeah, that's Harry, Harry Poggers' girlfriend, who's also a princess, apparently. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Welcome sight indeed. Come on, Harry. <laughs> Where's the goblin gone? Um, can we please talk about what just happened? <laughs> He's just completely shell shocked. Was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. 
Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? Alone. I'll leave you to it. Don't listen. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. The story is interesting, Minnie. Without I think... Without further ado, at you. It, it's a bit complex to start with, and it goes into all these, like, old builders and magical powers and stuff, but... I think since I did that second trial, it's a much more simple story. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. He needs therapy, I've maybe. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. It's adorable. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. She saw him as an equal. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. Okay, I trust him now. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Oh, snap. Watch for my owl. Yeah, he's a very good voice actor. Not sure who plays him. Must be someone with experience. Long way down. Alright, let's see what Miss Weasley wants me to do next. In the shadow of time. Meet Sebastian at the catacomb. Uh, 
I mean, we could go and rescue this dragon. Oh, I get the Imperial Curse if I do that. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have to do that, don't I? Imperio lets you turn enemies into friendlies. That sounds great. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I'm just going to go sell some gear. Take a look. Yeah, Imperio is going to be pretty clutch, I think. I sorted the gloves tonight. That strange witch's hat is still the most powerful headwear that I've got. I need to take those to the room of requirement. I did get a couple of robes as well, didn't I? Okay. I'll sell the rest. Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Sorry? Uh... I have them right here. Oh, it doesn't yeah. appear that you do. I don't think I've got any. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Felcroft can survive. What do you have for sale? This is before the novels and movies, what Jeff. What are we in the market for today? So this game is 1800s. I think it's 1880 it takes place, so that's why everyone looks like this. Yo, I am absolutely loaded right now. Look how much money I've got. 3,907. Could you believe it? mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time have i mentioned nobody asked okay god everyone's so needy in this game aren't they me 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 all the time me 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 the wizards will have no choice the wizards will have no choice i know a merlin trial when i see one you're here good Teach me that curse. Sebastian, that Let's go, Sebastian. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. Yes. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse yes. dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. No. Nope. You didn't tell him what we Nothing. were doing, did didn't you? Nothing. Didn't tell him a thing. I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. What have you read about it, Sebastian? I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Sebastian, it's you. You've not taken a shower in weeks, my dude. Come on. Personal hygiene is important. At least now we know we're not alone here. Yeah? Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Oh, you can yeah, pull these things here. Insects. Don't start. Spiders aren't insects. Well, yeah, they're arachnids, aren't they? Accio. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. 
There's spiders in that one. This room is taller than it looks. Wingardium Leviosa. Watch out, Sebastian. A little chest up here. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Sebastian, you can take a shower in two minutes and then you're out, mate. You can probably do like a magic shower or something like that. Descender. You could be the freshest the smelling the wizard around. I shall sleep better tonight. Imagine. Akio. Bombarda. Confringo. You can do all sorts with magic. Akio. Aristocratic ensemble. Which way did I come in, guys? It wasn't this way, was it? Oh no, no, oh no. Don't like it. I got pushed. Yeah. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Hello. Is that a jump scare? Eat it. Revelio. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. Good for you. You don't seem very confident about that, my dude. Which house should I join? It's up to you, James. You have to pick. Or just let the game pick based on the choices that you make. Just be honest with yourselves. Uh, Midget Hobbit, are we able to romance professors? I don't now this think so. Is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. I don't think there's any grandeur romance option. Some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Pile Lovely. of bones. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. Leviosa. What do I do with these? Hmm. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio. Some more bones there. Guys, what do I do with the bones? What do I do with them? Obviously, I have to do something with them. There's some bones there. Oh. It's a bone door. I just have to complete it, I guess. There's more bones somewhere. What did you find? Accio. Sebastian, there's bloody bones everywhere, my dude. I'm building a bone door. We're taking these bones to the bone zone over here. Look. You could help me, Sebastian, but all you do is just sit there and look at this stupid thing. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. 
I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Yes. Really? Interesting. Oh, Sebastian, you we know it anyway. Just teach it me. This room. Why do we have to but do this tomb? Let me think for a moment. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I surmise if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Of course. <laughs> I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. An oddly shaped relic. There's more to this than even I imagined. Accio. How do I get in there then? Default. I bombard it. Bombard it. Curious. Accio. There's a little Accio there. Nothing I can hit. Maybe I drop down there and lay, lay a point or something. You think there's a switch to the right? Revelio. Something here. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. The hell's this? I don't like it, guys. Doesn't want me to go there yet. Come on, Seb. Before we trudge on further, I just realized something. What's that? The student's diary mentions the Imperious curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So. If you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Yes. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. Exactly, Sebastian. You have an exactly. That no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling it. Imperial, here it is. <laughs> Temporarily forces enemies to fight as if they were your companion. While under your control, they take reduced damage from other enemies to prolong their allegiance to you. Also curses the victim. And cursed enemies take extra damage. <laughs> Be on your guard. Rebellion. Imperial. It looks like it's got a long cooldown though. Incendio. 
Look, he's my friend. Friend! Oh, not anymore. Can I make the big one mine? Yes. Oh my god, that is so good. Just got a little friend. Get him, friend. Get him. He's stuck. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? I like this. This is good. Incendio. Accio. This has opened up a world of possibilities for me, chat. I hope you realize. That was weird. See you later, Jonathan. Thank you for coming. Revelio. Accio. A stylish, informal school uniform. Through here, I guess. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Another unidentified item there. I went down there, didn't I? There's going to be another bone door here somewhere, I assume. Yeah, right now. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. I'm so <laughs> great. I try. Accio. What the hell did that do? going okay hold on let me just deal with this we've read the world of another spider i shall sleep better tonight i don't even know what i did then i just pulled them in a random order and it I presume it's the symbols again. So we need Tetris block and then circle. Give me some more bones. And then that and circle. Open the chest. Revelio. There's more bones. Did it not work? Why did that not work? I felt like that should have just stayed open, right? This is another code combination somewhere. 
Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Akio! That's it. Guardian Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. That's very funny, Sebastian. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Hello. Alright, who's the biggest? I should have saved it for this guy. Ow. Got him. It does actually recharge a lot quicker than I thought that. But I know that I've got a trait that means if I attack enemies, the cooldown on the spells reduce. I think that's what's going on there. Incendio. Dead end. Lovely. Accurate. It's never a dead end, Hold Sebastian. On. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Something here. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Uh, what is that? It looks like a holocron from Star Wars. Sebastian, the relic. It is a holocron. Look. Could it be? We should take it. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found now take it. it for yourself, what do you suppose Sebastian. Meant by do it. The dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential. I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. You have to submit to the dark side. <laughs> we should leave it alone now. We need it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. Yeah, we definitely says. need that. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. You think he would have taken it anyway, chat? I must keep this relic secret. Especially from my uncle. This guy, he's going to end up being a mass murderer or something, man. I can't help but feel I'm an accomplice. Ominous. That is ominous. What are you doing here, mate? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. No. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. Persuade him? How much did you hear? Not a good Everything. idea, is it? I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. 
What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Uh, I hope I don't regret this. Uh, uh, Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Ah, it's not gonna end well. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. How's Ominous gonna get out of here? I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. I mean, I suppose he found his way in here. He's blind, though. I don't just leave him down there, you know? As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Listen, you didn't kill him. He didn't kill you. As far as I'm concerned, that's the best result Any possible. Troubles, my young friends? <laughs> I can't use my broom. He's blind. Yeah, he's blind, Captain Force. Not this guy. Not Sebastian. The guy that we just met in there. Ominous. I feel like there may have been different outcomes to that. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like Ominous. It did only upset her. So I know that there's multiple endings. I think there's three different endings based on what I've read online. I don't know what happens in them. But I feel like that decision there, that may have affected the ending in some way. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. It's been attacked. Velkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Can you shout Fusrodar? No. Fusrodar! I mean, I can, but not in the game. That's his uncle. We've got the super one. Ooh. Got it. I do enjoy the little challenges. Oh, 
Ow. Oh, Anne. She's going to die. We couldn't save her. Who the bloody hell is this? Don't you dare touch Anne. Oh, he's turned him. Oh no. Oh my god. Did they just go there? Boy. Se Sebastian just made him off himself. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. That's not a good outcome. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Sebastian, you need, you need to chill out. You need to take a nice hot shower. Go to bed. Think about what you've done. Maybe get some food. Go to the local McWizard and relax. You know, too many unforgivable curses can drive a wizard or a witch wild. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. I think Why, I'm Sebastian? pretty sure the headmaster already knows that, you know, I'm a bit twisted. I'm pretty sure Simon Pegg understands. I'm the precursor to Voldemort. Harry Pogger. This is what came before Voldemort. It was the Pogster. I need to go identify all these. Pathetic. 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 Why are you going to give me some good meat? Let's see the uh, the challenges we got done. You have to come in here and claim the rewards. Top of the class cloak. Very good. I want this. Look at this. Halloween pumpkin mask. How sick is that? The headmistress speaks. Poppy.
This is more exciting than Modern Warfare 2. Ben, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a more interesting story than MW2. I'm going to go to the room of requirement. And I'm going to check out that gear. And then we'll continue on. How's the transmog work? So you just put on what you want. And then you can choose any appearance for it. They've done a really good job with it. Oh, there's my owl. Just chilling out there. That looks sick. What the hell? Increased damage with Crucio. What the? Look at this. <laughs> I can get rid of some of this as well. Increased damage by plants, that one was. I don't know if I've got any materials to upgrade them, though. The loom. Moon coffer. I'd have to go and tend to my animals. Thor moon coffer. Nifflifer. I've got some of that. I can do that one. Job and all feather. Thank you, Genghis Khan. Uh, Mellow Wellow, thank you for becoming a member. Thanks again, James Myers. Appreciate that. Right, she's down here somewhere. Hey, Telbo, go strike the moon calves. I could. I feel like it's more interesting content though if it's you know the the quests which are action packed. I bet it's on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Adorable. Does that mean there's a gobstone around here somewhere? Rebellion. There it is. Yeah. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I enjoy those Christmas trees. Wait, can I? I can just fast travel to the map chamber, can't I? What's up, Savvy and Harper? How you doing? Bruce Wayne. Wow, we've got Batman in here, guys. Sorry, everyone knows who you are. Do you think this game will have any DLC, Bruce Wayne? Yes, I do. I reckon in a year's time, PvP. Wizard Jewels. How sick would that be? Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned. Yeah, Simon Pegg doesn't himself. care. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Gotta sneak in there.
How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. I need a key and I need to be invisible. Yeah. It's simple. Polyjuice. Ah, there it is. There it is. We are going to use some polyjuice chat. I love this. And craft a little potion, maybe. What do I think of the voice acting? Some of it's very good, some of it's quite wooden. It's a mixed bag, the voice acting. Not been here in a while. Hey, Jude man, welcome. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. Mad I don't yeah. know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. It is Mad-Eye Moody, isn't it? In the movies. It has those glasses. You will transform into Simon Pegg. Now. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. If you could transform yeah, into anyone, who would you transform self. into? Yeah, I can't get that until it's night time. This is weird. I have become Simon Pegg. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Simon Pegg voices this character. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor. Oh, God. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um... Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably 
best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your <laughs> office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather... Has anyone seen my ivory-handled oh. hand mirror? Don't give it to Harry Potter because he's me. Haven't. You won't be able to find him. I wonder him. almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the... What could the headmaster want? Weasley. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley. What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah. The little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Yes. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings... That was me. ...went missing. That was, that was me. potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> well, there's one for my diary. He's mischievous. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Hey, Master, here, yeah. what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> what? Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Greetings! Something is... Is it Christmas? Yeah, it is. Professor, a word? Oh, no. Professor Black, again. Hey! Not too late hey! To Quidditch is cool, man. We can make it go. Quidditch. We... We could still have we can uncancel a it. shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I, <laughs> you are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. That would be unwise. Now, uh, please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. <laughs> now, where is my elf? I, parchment. Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Good day. I enjoy this quest. It's good. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Wow. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Move along. Uh, you'll get about 60 FPS on a 4090 in 4K. Oh, no. Mr. Bubbles the bot. This way. Procedure. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. 
And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Carrot, thank Something you for the five. Seems a little off with the headmaster. Is that true? That doesn't... I don't feel like they'd put that in the game. I may try, though. We'll do a field test. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. What's Miss Weasley? I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. She's going to know. How delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. <laughs> ah, well, yes. He's so many lies have been told today, chat. So many lies. I see. But, sir, if I may... I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's... That's true. Locks. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> I thought she would job. know. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. You know, I can hear you. I right. Have to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Where's my elf? Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made oh, Scrope no. swear Oh, no. Come on, tell me. Anyone. Tell me. Even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's to do... <laughs> family's reign? I feel like family's reign. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? Oh, no. I got it wrong. But certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, oh, no. <laughs> in French. <laughs> ah! Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Toujours Thank pur. You. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Toujours pur. Oh, it's snowing the in the great hall. The wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> Hide. Even if I know the password, surely ah, made it just in time. It's gonna know that it's not. Fig was right. Black, right? I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Bear with me a second while I unlock this chest and plunder whatever is on the inside. Always pure. Ooh. 
Well, where is it? Directly above us. Off on another adventure, are we? I swear the paintings and the ghosts know more about what's going on than anything. Look at these Christmas wreaths. It's adorable. Let me listen. Is that the Ravenclaw common room? I don't think I've even been in there. Makes me miss Christmas already. Accio. Headmaster's office is right at the top of the stairs. What? So you have to guess the number of the symbols, I think. Let's have a go. So we've got two on the bottom, and then the last one adds up to 19. How many symbols are there? 10. Okay. So let's say that the, um, let's say that that's one or zero. What's that? Snake, weird squid. No, one, two, three. So the snake is three. Where's the weird squid? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's three, nine. So we need a seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the hell's that? That one. And the one at the top. 15. Plus. No, one, two. Seven. So we need a six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the weird lizard thing. That one. A Celtic cape. That's it. That's all I get. It should have been a better reward than that. Maybe I like should have done that earlier or something. Yeah, I'm not very good at maths. So I'm quite slow. I'm sure you guys have figured out by now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gobstones? Revelio. I don't think I've ever been up here before. The grand staircase in the movies is like... It doesn't look... It's its not a cylinder, is it? They move in like little pieces instead. It's more angular in the movie. The 
gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Toujours pure. He put a proper French accent on there, didn't he? Rebellion. Go and see Professor Dumbledore. No, he's not. He's not even alive yet. Or well, maybe he is. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. A motto? You're asleep, mate. What are you doing? This is Dumbledore's office, isn't it? I suppose he was the headmaster. This is cool. Level two lock. Have I got that? Yeah. This feels wrong. That's oh, just a balcony. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Oh, he's a simpleton, isn't he? He doesn't look at anything. Hair tonic, mustache wax, vanidium pomade, comb, back scratcher, oxide. Is that what he's ordering? That must be the pedestal. Oh, I'm just going to go see what is through here because you guys will be mad at me if I don't. Level three lock. Ah, oh, baited. I can't do that yet. What the hell? It sucked me into the book. So the final trial is literally in a book. Uh, am I? What the? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? What the hell? I am here. In this place, you may call me Eve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. We are. Okay, you so this is so cool. And cautiously. Use the tools you encounter. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What the hell's that? It is like an 80s music video, isn't it? It's, uh, aha, take on me. I should have run when I could. That scared the hell out of me. Do I even I don't even have any spells. I need to time this just right. Is that guy gonna move? Yeah. Do 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 I see a staircase straight ahead. Talking away. 
I don't know what. Death. Hello. This is trippy, guys. I didn't expect anything like this. It's very strange. I'm into it, though. Do you remember in the Arkham games when the Scarecrow uses his poison gas on you? Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Reminds me of that. What a game, though. Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, that trilogy. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Fantastic. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Well, if you could just turn around, sir. I presume that I just fail if I get spotted. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was going to turn around. I wanted to wait. Hello, death. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Okay, so it's going to let me fight at some point because it just gave me a health potion. Hello. Now's my chance. It's got to be patient. Mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Oh, okay, okay. Nice little upgrade there. Hopefully, I can take that out of this portion. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Can you dual wield ones? No, I don't think so, Slapshock. That would be sick, though. Next game, maybe. Uh -huh. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Like I Wield the wand you see before Please. You. Do not squander its extraordinary power. As I was saying, I think this game is going to be a massive commercial hit. I think they'll have like 10, 12 million sales within the first month. They're probably already working on a sequel to this on Unreal Engine 5, I'd imagine. I think Warner Brothers would be stupid not to commission that. So maybe dual wielding in the future. But they don't even do that in the movie, do they? 
That'd be sick. I've never felt such power. I've got my skills now. The Pulse. Rebellion. The Pulse. What? Usually that just gets rid of that. Ah, I blow it up. I've only got four skills as well. Can't use my other sets. Unlimited power. Two thousand nine hundred damage a hit. What? That doesn't seem right. It's Peter Pettigrew. Made everything a lot more punchy, a bit more powerful. This one feels different. I don't have Crucio, Madalena. At the moment. I'm in this weird zone and there's only one set. And now there's some kind of a boss. I'll give him the big attack. Wow. Save the big attack for the trolls. Defender. Got that challenge done. Defender. Bombarder. Defender. 
Strong burn. Bombada. We're gonna have to kill this dude. Like those walls. Try and get rid of the big ones first, you know? There he goes. Leave me alone, Wolf, please. Bombarder. Defender. 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 Are you running away now? Come on. Face me. I would like to 1v1 you, please. I think she actually said that it was death itself, so... Not a fan. Quite trippy. Harry Pogger, the boy who popped, come to die. This must be for me. another holocron that's a jedi holocron the one we had before with sebastian sith you are far from finished pass through the mourners ahead nothing is what it seems nothing is what it seems in the cube it's a cemetery Sweet Neve. Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. Mm. Is that Neve's grave? What's her body? You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Maybe that's strong enough, me. Oh, she's a goddess. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Ian Malcolm, Jurassic Park. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, 
What you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Isadora's tripping right now. Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. in the map room. That trial was a lot more interesting than the other two. Although I did like the boss in the first one. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. Beautiful. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive... Information is knowledge. ...perhaps has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless... The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Don't you dare, just let me go. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Just went for it. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted. It's a bit of Black Mirror, isn't Goblin it, that? Silver. The repositories. Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Imagine if you could do that in real life. You could just pluck 
emotions away. But you could do it to other people as well. That'd be a scary amount of power to have. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Is that Avada Kedavra? Is that... Is that what he's saying, chat? Is that what he's saying? I've got two Sebastian quests here. I've got a main one. And this one as well. I feel like I should do this one first and then see where it leads me. You can't imagine like, this has to be a Varda Kadara, like soon. Is this a Souls game? No, not really, Drew. Teach me the Did ways. You speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic... Dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. But that was just a chat to him about the crest. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to change the appearance of these because they're annoying me. I'll put the... Uh, original Potter glasses on. Oh, that's far away. What the hell? I've not even been to the coast. That's cool. Is that the nearest flu flame over there? I think so. Game. Click. Please. Are we going to see the bones? That's what we're doing. That's not a proper broom. <laughs> Late lady. I'm so why won't you talk to me? Okay, she just doesn't want to interact with me. Why doesn't she want to interact with me, chat? Oh. 
Ah, there you are. Let's go! All I wanted to do was sell my wares, and she wouldn't allow it. She wouldn't let me. It could be because of the mission, yeah. I should investigate. Do you like this chat? So you can only see these things if you've died or faced death. How do we get around this? You have to go through the mountain. The northmost point, the coast. I don't think I can go around that way, can I? I'd love to dismount. Rather unwise coming back this way. Descend us. Why you You asked for it. Franrock has fooled you all to your demise. This is awesome. I've actually got to go through this dungeon to get through to the coast. Oh yeah, we murder people, chat. There's murdering. Don't worry about that. Oh wow, you're lucky. The goblins have been rather quiet recently. Harry Pogger has killed them all. He repeatedly threw barrels at their heads and they all died. You're a barrel. Enjoy that. That spell doesn't wear off, by the way. Just so you know. Come see me after class. Watching your stream is a good way to pass time on my night shift. <laughs> That's awesome, Beck. Thank you. Oh you now? Nothing.
How about some sightseeing? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, they were working on this game for like five or six years. Do you guys remember? I think it was 2017, 2018. This actually leaked. And the video of it that leaked, it looked almost finished. I expected this game to come out like within the next couple years after that. Like maybe 2020 or something. But no, they just kept working on it, working on it. And this is what we've ended up with. Great. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. I'm on the way, Sebastian. Don't you worry. Is it self-defense if they don't attack? Well, the goblins want to kill us. We're at war, essentially, at this point, so... Not many rules in war. Kind of hard to descend when you're on this. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Well, especially not you, Sebastian. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Who's going to spot us here, Sebastian? Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. There's literally no one. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Switchbacks. So that term, switchback, the first, the first time that I heard it was at a theme park. You know, when you go to a theme park or a fair or something and they have a queue system, they utilize and maximize the space by having a switchback. So it goes, you know, up one way and then down another. I didn't realize that, you know, you could use it for other things as well, like mountain paths. Oh, come on, he's gone. It's a drilling machine. Yeah, they're drilling into the mountain to try and find this ancient goblin steel or something along those lines. walk around it <laughs> steal a loyalist crossbow bolt some consider them a bad omen hmm not everyone does the word came from mountain paths yeah oh, it makes I sense now that. all right i understand it i'm making small talk i'm not gonna trek up this mountain in silence stop being a negative nancy sebastian won't take us long to get there. You've done your cardio. A 
I swear to God, if he already knows of Arda Kedavra and he's just not teaching me it. I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. It's because I hit him with the Crucio curse so he can see them. My bad. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. <laughs> well, I wish you'd have told me that earlier, Harry. An intruder. No, there's no intruder. I don't know if they'll see me here. I think they will. I can't use that invisibility cloak. Yeah, they saw me. Oh, that was close. I'll get away with that. I should have been so dead. I've just realized I haven't had Expelliarmus for, on my like, skills for a bit. Ow. That would be really useful. They got what they deserved. Revelio. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. I'm pretty sure it was my fault. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Pretty sure it was me. Put it on there. Expelliarmus is really useful. Pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. I'm gonna push him off. What's wrong? <laughs> Oh my god. All of a Jeez, I pressed the wrong button straight away. I was going to try and push them both off, but I just did Crucio instead. If only that tradeswoman wasn't bugged, I could have sold all this stuff. Yeah, I don't want those. I don't think you get anything from destroying it either. See what the cloak is. <laughs> you deserve the same fate 
Nice work. Need to get rid of that waypoint. Upgrade wand. I don't think you can upgrade the wand. You can just change how it looks. See, they don't have stats on them, chat. You can just change the look. I'll do it for you, though. How about that? <coughs> Am I playing on Xbox? No, I'm playing PC with an Xbox controller. Rebellion. God. Lumos. Lumos. There's almost too many spells. Oh. Ow. Chickens. What the hell? What was he doing here with two chickens? Illegal breeding endeavors. <laughs> what was he trying to do with the chickens, guys? That I don't know about that. You'll be safe there, chickens. Don't worry. Lumos. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right, and I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals oh, in that regard. <laughs> Sebastian, wait, wait, for what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. He's hasty. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, there's actually a flu flame there. Lovely to see you both. How are you so cheery in such a grim, dark environment? How do you do it, lady? Just gonna organize my spells, chat. I feel like this could be better. 
So I like that one because that's kind of like moving things around. That's on my fire spells. I could put Expelliarmus on the top. Put my stop there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think there are drill charges in this game. Planetary motion. <laughs> so far, so good. Charming. I think it would work though. See, all these Spiders. goblins are dead. How fitting. I do enjoy the challenges. Is that range spider? Ow. I didn't see that one. Good job, Sebastian Egg. Proud of you. What are those? These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. A goblin dinner? I'm gonna wait for the big one. It's gonna be a big one. That was a nice combo. We break the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Incendio. Well, there was clearly goblins here, wasn't there? Push that out of the way. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Incendio. Bye. Give me the dots. Ow. Kill. Kill for me. Oh my god, the camera! 
couldn't work out what it was doing. Challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. Revelio. Incendio. There's all sorts of side rooms here. Is finding these chests luck or instinct? It's just what I'd do, Sebastian. Like these before. Blank square frame. That's weird. Is that something for the room of requirement then? Maybe it is. It's another stylish casual school uniform. Rebellion. Sebastian. Oh, that one's. Hmm. How curious. I have to get rid of the flames. Incendio. I'd imagine we need to find all three rooms. Can't get out of here quick enough. Who is leaving all these notes? Sebastian, a journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Throw! Oh, throw in the dungeon! Oh, 40 FPS, that's nice. Oh, 30 FPS, it went down to 24 FPS there. I didn't feel that was warranted. This will be fun. Wait, hang on, can I... Can I make the troll my friend? Oh my god. I can just make the troll my friend. If you could just do all the work for me, that would be great. I'm glad that I learned this spell. Me and my friend again. He's really confused, chat. He's like, what do I do? Oh. I guess I just beat him up. Ow. I missed it. again I'm trying to get the perfect one that's better nice Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. There was no teamwork, Sebastian. I think it was all me. Deposit. 
Incendio. Oh, a little secret chest. I like that. That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Can we repair it? Perhaps. Revelio. I presume we can. If that wasn't a hint, I don't know what is. Repairer. Rebellion. That was a piece of work. More than one. Put that back. Oh, look at this room. What the hell? Massive. All sorts of paintings on the wall. These ones aren't moving though. I recognize that one. I've seen that one in Hogwarts. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. God. Almost crushed me to death. Rebellion. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs. But the view, well worth it. You need the exercise, Sebastian. It's good for you. It releases endorphins. You'll feel better. Another barrier. We can blast through it. Certainly. Rebellion. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Set this on fire. Bombarder. Kundringo. Incendio. No time, Lucky. Yeah, I don't know why people are just ripping out pages from their journals. That's a really good point, AH. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Yeah, it's massive. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language. Could this be another area Isadora created? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. It's kind of reminding me of the room of requirement that I've got. Rebellion. So she's going against the headmistress. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. You just said that. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Isn't that a Death Eater mask? Harry Potter fans in the chat, is that a Death Eater mask? Looks like one to me. Yep, 
It's not co-op B sharp, no. They just take words and, and put O's in front of them for the spells. Well, it's Latin, isn't it? This is it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Mountain. It's where the goblins are. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. We can see as a door's memory. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Stick your face in it. Go on. Get in there. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. 
If at all, if at all, you've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Because they knew what she was doing was wrong. I'd guess. I don't know how this is going to go down though. Because if you can learn how to do that. You could theoretically save his sister. But I don't think it's going to be that simple. I found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me. But if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Lord Gok's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Getting in trouble. Why did you go Gryffindor when you're obviously a Slytherin? Said Rito. I just went with what the game picked for me. I felt like that was the right thing to do. But yes, I am a Slytherin. Sebastian has a plan. Talk to Anne without Solomon knowing and wants to meet me outside the hamlet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Getting saucy. He's getting saucy. Maybe there is a consequence for taking someone's pain elsewhere. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Checks the balance in the force. Yes. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I sense a disturbance in the horse. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Get rid of these, uh, irrelevant items. Dice. If you move the thumbstick a millimeter when you're holding down A there, it cancels it. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. They just prefer power and precision. I like that. It's a good way of putting it. Wait, 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 wait. Do you not have the other we potions? Have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Yeah, this is what I want. A wise decision. Thank you. Gonna load up on these. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
all the way over there. I'm intrigued to find out where this goes. And when are you going to give me a Vada Kedavra? Seems a pleasant enough little place. Please. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Hey, Mix. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. It unlocks at level 27. But game suggests 28 before you do it. Really? What level am I? 25. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Transformation turns them explosive. Go see Lord Gok. indeed your field guide most pleased to be included. why can i not pop my broom got some potions now too which is good still can't use it you think ominous is going to be the sacrifice wouldn't that be the most obvious thing to happen though right i already did that What if this looks intriguing? Wait. What if Sebastian has to sacrifice himself to save his sister? Uh, Ken W, thank you for the two dollars. Can you loudly whisper chimichanga? Chimichanga, isn't that like a a deep fried burrito, something like that? I don't know why. Loud, how do you loudly whisper something? It's, doesn't make much sense. Patrol duty. There could. 
could be goblin loyalists in here. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. He snuck in. Hello, Scipio. I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, we're nearly at the end of this. The main quest, anyway. Oh, man, this is awesome. This Something seems wrong. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. We'll try and uh, be stealthy for this one. Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Hmm. One less human to worry about. Okay. So that invisibility just doesn't work very well at all versus these. There's probably upgrades for it in the talent. I haven't put any talent points into stealth though. Are we going to go on this? This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. I was going full Gringotts again, guys. Like Gringotts, <laughs> but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Oh, baby, let's go. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Renrock's going to be pleased with our progress. It's Who just like Sonic the Hedgehog. Part, will that has to be the end up ahead. My still right. I'm sick of the dragon eyed spectacles. Oh, I forgot to go to the room of requirement, didn't I? Damn it. I'm an idiot. Well, that didn't give me away. You didn't see nothing. Leave that there for now. Must have been the wind. Yes, indeed. That's fine, is it? Nobody. This platform closer. Keep going. I can't believe I've not been <laughs> spotted yet. I, I just don't believe it. I mean, I literally used some dark magic on that goblin and his mates were just like, whatever, that's fine. I 
Ragnarok is here. I only hope Lord God doesn't cross paths with him. They spot me. Didn't actually spot me. Huh. Okay, this spotted me now. How'd you do that? You were mid spell. That is so overpowered. I can use their weapons. Let me throw it. So. An unforgivable curse. Off the beaten path, I suspect. I'd better light these boilers if I want to go any further. Incendio. I mean, I am probably the most unforgivable wizard right now that's ever lived. So many curses. So many Imperios. Jack is as brummy as they come. I'm from Wolverhampton, Chaos Theory. I mean, my voice sounds a bit off today because I'm sick. But yeah, I lived in Wolverhampton for 18 years, and then I went to uni. Well, how the bloody hell do I do this? Confringo! Rebellion! Accio! Is there not a boiler nearby? Huh? Can I light that from here? Confringo! Bombarda! Confringo! No, I'll shoot through it. I have to come back here, I think. Jack sounds like a wizard. I don't feel like a wizard at the moment. I feel quite sick. I hope I can get to Ramlock before Logcock does. There he is. is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Defeat all the enemies. Oh look, there's a big troll there. I'm gonna change him. Hello? That's so good, that's fine. 
But you can do unforgivable curses in stealth, and it's fine. in London. He just died standing up. I think he he was supposed to fall over there. His body didn't turn into a ragdoll. Not many bugs in this game. There's a few. Occasional one like that. Collapse all the pillars. Uh, I'll do it. But you want to go, son? You want to go? That is unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I'll kill you right now, on the I spot. Found this one looking outside. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. Is this brother? Who is this you've brought me? Did I just miss that? Oh, you leave him alone. Lord Gox, chill. Don't you dare kill him. Are you alright? I will never understand you, Lord Gox. Sir Gollum. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. Now, I don't need you. Don't you dare, Ranrock. I don't need don't you dare. any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. No. Above and Kadabra.
I knew he would die. He's my favourite character. <sighs> Poor Lord Cook. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Ready to do it? Now to get out of this blasted place. Get out of there, Harry Potter. Yeah, the no could have been better. I want it to be like Darth Vader. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. I've got to go there anyway. Hogwarts map. Secret rooms, please. Room of requirement. I would like to examine the clothing I've acquired. I don't know what that voice is. Sorry, I don't, I don't know what came over me. Oh, they're all, all upgrades. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Shall we? See, that's quite good though, because I put the cruelty trait on it. It makes my unforgivable curses better. Yeah, I mean, the witch's hat. Oh, hello. I'm going to change the. Uh... Don't worry, chat. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. Don't you worry your little socks about it. My true voice slipped out. <laughs> no, that's not what I sound like. A cracking cheese grommet. Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. We've got to go down the there. The I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. Get the ICBM. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. You know what? I feel like I can bring that to the table. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? 
Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. She was delving in dark, dark magic. Meet Professor Fig at San Bacar's pensive chamber. 3,000 meters away? Where the bloody hell's that chat? I'm on the coast again. Is that really the only flu flame that I got over there? I have to run down the switchbacks again. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu packs. How to make potion tracks gamer. You need to go to Potion Clash with Professor Sharp. Or you can buy them at J. Pippin's Potions in Hogsmeade. And if you've got the room of requirement, you can make a potion station and then you can brew your own. Does that help? Is this more about story than action? It's a mix. I mean, it's a, it's a action RPG. So you get lots of story. You get lots of character interaction. You get some choices. But there is a lot of action as well. I mean, we were just having a massive fight down in a goblin dungeon. And the game is set 200 this years. Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Before Harry Potter. 1800s it takes place in. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. What say we pick up the pace a bit? But there's so much to explore, so much to do. Even if you just stick around Hogwarts Castle, you can spend like 50 hours there doing quests. What's up, LF? Thank you, man. I appreciate you being here. Did you guys see the Jedi Survivor gameplay that I Gen released yesterday? They had not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ten minutes of exclusive gameplay. There's a flu flame down there. I'm just going to get that. Nice. Well, I'll go towards that cellar. Time to go a little quicker. I'd rather stay cool than work with mud. Should be hearing back soon about the position that opened up. Get in the bag. Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Clifford Cromwell. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Such a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, if you missed any of the Hogwarts Legacy streams... They are all staying up as videos. So anyone that missed them can watch them back. Sure to visit again. Always brightens my day helping you young ones. Like all these settlements as well have side quests. I'm just kind of focusing on most of the main quests. I've done a few of the side quests though. Some really interesting ones. I should investigate. I think you could easily spend like 60 hours on this. Maybe 80 if you take your time. I've always said that travel.
the hell was that? Some dragon horticulture. Is that a monkey? What do size side quests give you? They give you all sorts of different rewards. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Some of them give you spells, some of them give you cosmetics, some of them deepen your friendships with the other students, and then you get extra trials after that. Rebellion. This place could do with a bit of pruning. Let's look around. I mean, what do you want me to do with this? And Good for you. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It's a beast. It looks like a I saw it in Fantastic Beasts and, and where to find them. the carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. I'm going to have to go and kill what a giant monster. Next? I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Uh, Mud Monkey, I don't think you need to be a Harry Potter fan to enjoy this game. I think... Just on its own merits, it's uh, a fun action RPG. Very polished. I mean, you probably would get more enjoyment out of it if you're a Harry Potter fan, but you don't need to be. Everything's quite self-explanatory, apart from all the weird words that they use. Basically, wizards use the force. You've seen Star Wars, haven't you? And there's also dark magic. That's that's the dark side, you know, that's Palpatine. This looks intriguing. Thank you, monkey. Appreciate you being here. Cows. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. That is the bones of a giant sea creature. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. This must be the place. What is it? A whale? A kraken? Okay, we're going to the Grafhorn's Den. Now, th in the movie, this thing is huge. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, well, how am I going to subdue this? I mean... Okay, Crucio doesn't work on him. Oh my god. Accio. 
Oh, that's a tight dodge. You know what I should do? I should take my spell that increases my spell damage. Doesn't work either. He's not happy. Oh god, he's glowing. Is he gonna breathe fire at me? Shit. Okay. He hates fire. He really hates it. Missing that one. Incendio, confirm them, bombard them. Defenders, confirm them. Incendio. Consider it subdued. Here's the force, Luke. I need your help, friend. Are we doing this? We do. This is a mount. The Graph Horn is a powerful charge attack that deals a large amount of damage to enemies in certain barricades. I did not know this was in the game. That's so awesome. It's a little puppy. Poachers. Oh, Let's poachers. See how the shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Eat it. He is a big boy. A very big boy. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Ah! I don't think so. Use it to rob the bank. What, Gringotts? Should we take this thing to Gringotts? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, Matty C, that's We're very kindly, man. Thank you for the 10. Like it or not. Uh. <laughs> Ugh. 
Bye. Time for you all to clear out. Time to die. I think you mean Harry Potter. Quad kill. The music is a nod to How to Train Your Dragon. It does sound a bit How to Train Your Dragon. Professor, I've got him. I think Doom Eternal music, yeah, I agree with you. Maybe a better choice there. Oh, he's in my bag. Does that mean that that thing is going to be in my room of requirement now? In the Vivarium. I hope so. I could put it there. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Ray tracing putting in some work here, isn't it? Damn, looks good. Sheesh. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn into your common room, all right? What have 
you done? Take a breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? You won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Straight up marked her. Don't see that very often. That was cool cinematic. I enjoyed that. Steven, thank you for the $50. That's very kind of you. Grok, thank you for the five. Am I still rapping? No. Quezzy, donating to the coffee fund. Thank you. I can't have coffee at this time of night. It's half past ten in the evening. I won't sleep. I've got water, you know. Good enough for now. Just teach me that, please. I'm going to get the soundtrack for this game when I'm done. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before... You'll Ralph have too much power. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is a safe special for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will go see Ollivander Another again. Another Ollivander. I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand and we will open the way forward. Can I not use it to kill people, please? I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. But I did kind of tell her. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. 
It is Lacrimosa in the background. Now, Steven, thanks again for the 50. For your beans on toast. This game is fun to watch, bro. Thanks for playing. No problem, Steven. Very kind of you. Beans on toast. Okay. Two slices of white toast. Heinz beans. Get them warm. Get them nice and hot. Get some grated cheddar cheese. You put that on top of the beans, which are on top of the toast. To and then you put a bit of pepper on. That is an absolutely banging snack. Trust me. I've got to go see Ollivander. I'm excited. Let's go. Guys. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. It says suggested level 28. I'm under leveled. Could I do it though? I'll go get this new wand first because it might give me a bit of XP. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. Awkward. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable, Remarkable design. design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. Craft me the goddamn wand right now, Ollivander. There's some stuff going down with Ranrock. Ancient magic. He's got a repository. We have to stop him. I need the wand now. He gets it. It is done. Let's see. Let's check it out. Oh. M4A1 Commando Foregrip. 60 round mag. Tax suppressor. I've never seen a one like this before. Hello, My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied Stipple in this grip. letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Oh, baby. Give me that new wand. Oh, you want to go, son? You want to go? I'm afraid you're on your own. Boss fight? I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. What the hell? What was wrong with the voice there? Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? None of your business. 
Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Where did they take him? Okay, okay. We're just getting straight into it, lads. I love it when they help me. Oh, they got Incendio as well. Separating, that's cool. What's he doing? What's he doing? I want you. You're on my team now. Oh. I like it. It's good. Powers the world. Keeps everything going, you know? That was cool. Okay. I think she actually blocked that then. That's the first time I've seen them do that. Stupid. 
That's interesting. They're actually blocking it now. Where's my... Oh, we got zombies now, chat. Jesus, that was a lot to manage at once. Trying to murder me again, chap. Don't spam the A-bomb. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was an epic fight. Wow. I almost died a couple times there. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. Yeah, we turned him into purple I space to dust. Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Trying to avoid a cadaver, me. Don't think so, Victor. <laughs> Trying to use all my spells as well, you know. Manage the combos. Keep everything in Rebellion. check. Difficult. Did I at least get some decent gear? Not really. <laughs> Got some combat challenges somewhere. That's cool. I enjoyed the random zombie that turned up. He was good. Oh, we got a pumpkin head. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, baby. This is Harry Potter's new style. Pumpkin head. Very good. How do you get traits on your gear? You have to go to the room of requirement. And then put it in there. I'm going to have a crack at this first before we do the final main quest. It says level 28, but I might be able to do it. We'll see. If I die once, then I'll give it up. Maybe it won't even let me in there, though. Who lives here? <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Undi. Glad to see you back. No. 
Not yet. I'm not going to lie to you again. Sorry. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Velcroft can survive. What do you have for sale? What do you what have are for we sale? In the market for today. I'm gonna go get a load of potions. Have I mentioned your? Have I died at all? Uh, no, I don't think I've died. It is normal difficulty though. It's not, you know, I'm not playing it on hard. Wait, I want to go to Hogsmeade. Potion seller? Have I used my skill points? Yeah, of course. Hogsmeade, here I come. Is it Daniel Radcliffe? No, it's Harry Potter. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at you all. You can be of assistance, me. Be me some potions. Combat tools. Oh, oh, I bought the other ones, decision. didn't I? Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah, falling off doesn't count, though, does it? <laughs> I wouldn't put it in the same category. Okay, ominous at the catacomb. Let's go find out where he is. He's not happy with Sebastian. No, 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 no. Sebastian's been a naughty boy. Middling in the dark arts. Mm, Potter. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was So this is the Avada Kedavra quest. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. He's an absolute mad lad, Ominous. We know that by now. Matty C, thank you for the 10. Just tried beans on toast. I'm paying $10 to tell you it was legit. Good. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. It's worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and I found him? That's not Michael. I mean, it's, it's certainly a hot start to the quest, lads, let me tell you. I don't even know if uh, Imperius would work on these. Because they only seem to die from fire damage. I could try. What there the weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. Oh, it does. It does work. Incendium. 
incendio. The pen. Incendio. Confringo. Can I transform these? Arrest the momentum. You can. Watch your back, Ominous. Hold on a moment. I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them, as Anne and I frantically barricaded the inferior to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. I don't think anyone can. He's crazy. How many inferior are there? That's how you do it. Incendio. That spell is so overpowered with that trait. Where's it gonna be? No Revenue. idea. There he is. Sebastian, want to help me out? Oh, it's the bones again. Use the bones. Wait, there's more? Surely I can jump that, right? Are you kidding me, game? What the hell? Revelio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Dice, please. Guardian Leviosa. Why? Why is it not? <laughs> it just usually goes into place. What am I doing wrong here? B. 
base of the stairs? Oh, you are kidding me. Surely it's, it's logical to put them there, where the gap is. <laughs> There's Sebastian. Isn't uh, this incredible? Sebastian, what's he doing? I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? What's he doing here? No. Seb Sebastian, you can't kill your uncle. Wait, I didn't sign up for this? Please, okay. What did I swap out from that? I swapped something out, didn't I? Mm. No, it wasn't the push, it was the pull. I'm gonna take this as well. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I don't like it. to you it feels wrong to me I can <laughs> what I can turn him onto my side like some mad like fire spell there that's sick Defender. Ow. Defender. Incendium. Bombarda. 
Jesus! She cannot be healed, Sebastian. He's a powerful wizard. You must stop. Uh, I won't let her suffer. Sebastian, don't do it. He just killed his uncle. Sepulto! Holy sh! There's no turning back from that. I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Holy crap. Sebastian, wait! Arrest the momentum. Come back. There's been a murder. Stop, Sebastian. Now hold on. What was it all for, Sebastian? I'm still sick. You've killed your uncle. You're going to wizard jail. As long as you teach me Vada Kedavra, I'm, I'm happy. I don't care about you. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... Everyone should know that curse. He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same, if I knew how. I could teach you. <laughs> 21 Cup, this is an optional quest. You don't have to do this. All this slithering stuff is optional. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Oh, I mean it, Sebastian. I mean Roger it. Watch your one steady. Focus. 
The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. <laughs> Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? Oh my god. Here it is. Kills enemies instantly, it said. Can I just one bang any enemy in the game with this? Is that how this works? Hold on. Wait, any enemy? Yeah. Really? Are there any talents related to it? Killing an enemy with a... Sorry? Okay? So anyone that's cursed, if I use that, they all die instantly. That seems fair. Yeah, you're right. It probably has quite a long cooldown. How many pots did I use then? I've only got three left. Looks rather dark. I should go and buy some pots, shouldn't I? Hang on. Wait, Jay Pippin's potions. He ain't gonna have any pots, though, is he? I bought them all. I'm an idiot. Ah, do I need pots? Uh, eh. We'll go without for now. Will this have multiplayer PvP? If so, would it be good, do you think? Glad to catch a live boss. Loading. Thank you for the five. Um, I don't... I mean, I would love if it had PvP. I don't think they're going to do it, though. I, s I mentioned earlier, yeah, maybe in a year's time. Something a bit different. It's Unreal Engine 4, so it's got multiplayer integration in it. I imagine it wouldn't be that difficult for them to do, like a jawling thing. Hold on, let me just take off this ridiculous pumpkin, because... You know, we must maintain some level of seriousness. So we'll go with this instead. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Harry Pogger, that's his natural look. That's where he feels the most himself. Glasses, scar, lovely hairdo. Victor Rookwood is You look dead. like Mr. Blobby. How dare you? He confronted me as I left Ollivanders with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us 
cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. I like how Harry neglected to mention to Fig that he just murdered Solomon. We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, is it? I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Oh! He's got his drill back. I've got this. I wonder if I'm here. Let's go. Hold on. I want to make a little setup here with green, green stuff. If it's loyalists, you know what I'm saying, chat. You know what I mean. I think that's looking good. He cannot be far behind. You I'll see what the cooldown is on this spell then. So awesome. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's me out of help, folks. One moment, please. So I do have some nice potions here that I can use. Reduces the spell cooldown. Thunderbrew as well. That one's a good one. 20 seconds though, that lasts. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
No, both two over dead instantly. We must figure it out, Professor Fig. <laughs> Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very Oh, wow. It worked. Let's go. Lumos. Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. Lumos. There's nothing we can do. Oh, cool down. Good job, Fig. I mean, I'm collecting health kits as I go, which is great. I enjoy this fight with Professor Fig, though. It's cool. Heavily armoured. Trolls. Oh, let's go. Bring it. Oh, we got backup. Where's Professor Sharp? There he is. And Weasley as well. Love it. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Avengers assemble. So what's happened here? Time to move. We're in the thick of it now. We'll set the speed to take in charge. Ah! Your timing couldn't be better, Professor Hackett. Sick. Oh, good. How's it was? No. We couldn't be happy to see you. In mine now. Why? 
chops with us as well. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Hello? You're new. I say, Professor Weasley. Mm. With the rocket rope. Get across the bridge, Harry Potter. Drop it. Nice. fine I wasn't sure if anything was going to happen then, was he? Yo, the ancient magic, Harry. Why did I sound like a we Dalek? I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I don't think I did. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Oh, I think we should keep it contained. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. Oh? God. There he is. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. 
Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> What the hell? What just happened? It belongs in a museum. That's a good point. Oh, it's a dragon, is he? Yeah, it's a dragon. I'm not gonna. Oh my god. Is, did Professor Pig just get annihilated? I wasn't expecting that. Attack him now. Wait, shoot, can I? Okay, so he doesn't one shot the final boss. Wait, there was an RP there. I think I had a chance to send it back. I almost rolled off the edge. It's not looking good.
He's up to something again. Oh no. I think I'm gonna die, guys. I actually think I'm gonna die. I don't think I've got enough hit in the tank here. Is it gonna, that's the first time I've died in the game. When's it going to checkpoint me? You know what I need to do? I need to put all the different color spells on one of them. So if I have like a red on this as well. Green at the bottom. Try that. to RB those. Don't have any left, do I? Me dead. Use Glacius against fire. I don't think it works. Ice beats fire. Yeah, Vada Kadara does no damage to it. Let's see what gear I've got. I'm 
something on the gloves. Let's see if I can boost my stats a little bit. No. Where can I buy... Health potions. So I think I bought them all from uh, Jay Pippin. Incendio doesn't need to be there. You're right. Yeah, that can go. Get rid of that. I'm going to abandon the quest, and we can, we can go and make some. I'd rather just buy them, though, because I've got plenty of gold. Let's see. If I go to my room of requirement... Go to the potions. Oh, that's the apology station station. Are there other potion shops, Vince? Where are the other potion shops? I've not seen any. You can't Protego all the attacks, like the red ones you have to dodge. You can have multiple potions brewing, but you need to build bigger potion stations. I haven't done it yet. Harry Pogger is brewing some potions right now. That's what he's doing. There's one south of Hogwarts, is there? Hello, Michael. How you doing? Yeah, I could buff my gear as well. I feel like I was a little under-leveled under there because my attacks weren't really doing that much damage at all. Are there healing spells? Uh, no. No, I don't think there is. Yeah, you can't stack these, unfortunately. There's one eye spell, Max Alito. I don't know if it would work against that boss, though. Let him cook. <laughs> Just normal difficulty, you are. We did get a, a Dava Kadava. A Avada Kadava. Me, yeah. The Jack Frank's cooking channel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Is there a cap on healing potions? I don't know.
Do you guys like watching this? I think I've got enough now. I'm going to keep brewing. I think I can do like five more or something. Hello, potion seller. I'm going into battle and I want your strongest potions. My potions are too strong for you, traveler. You couldn't possibly handle my potions. <laughs> I could just go and buy like a bigger potion thing, but can't be bothered. I've got 18. Is that enough, chat? You think that's enough? Job and old feather. Moon calf. Moon calf. Right, I'll go do this. I don't even know. Are they in here? Who's in here? Yeah, they are in here. Wait, I can put the big lad in there. Oh, there's not enough room. Oh, yeah. How about that? And some of that. So, if I do this, I should get some stuff that I can use to upgrade my gear. And then this guy as well. The job and all. Interact, damn it. Okay. You can't just repeatedly farm that. If you wanted to, like, get... So if I wanted to get all the stuff required to upgrade the stuff I got there, I'd have to have multiple <laughs> versions of those creatures in there. Where's the best place to buy... Yeah, yeah. I've not, I've, ne I don't, I've literally never even bought any in the game. I don't think I have. I'm gonna do two more. Yeah, we're gonna finish it, Shaggy, for sure. No, you can't get more powerful ones. That's just part of the game unknown. You don't have to do that, really. The shop, yeah, but there's lots of shops, Com Space. There's lots of, lots and, <laughs> lots of different shops. All right, we'll sort the spells out. I've got 21 health kits. So I want range spells, really, don't I? No point putting incendio on.
No point putting Nevada Cadaver on. Alright, we'll try that. See how we fare this time. I don't think there was any ancient magic throw there. Victor Rookwood is dead. Godric. He would have. You're right. You had. Thank you for saying. All right. Okay, we've seen this, so I'm going to skip it. I don't think this is going to take me straight to the boss though. I think I'll have to do the whole thing again. That's fine. Just try and minimize the use of the health potions. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Damn, the goblins. Let's go. I mean, if I have to do this bit again, I might as well have Nevada Cadaver there. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Search the area! Must be here somewhere! We must be getting closer! Renbrook will be pleased with our progress! Bombarder! Yeah. Bombarder! Yeah. Bombarder! Yeah. Bombarder! Yeah. Bombarder! Yeah. Ow. Is he going to throw a box at me? That's weird. What's that about? That's kind of a weird mechanic. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. Sort it out, Fig. Come on. Let's go. Kill them both. A really quick cooldown on it. Yeah, it's so weird. When he's the last yeah. one left, like it should just let you kill him straight away. 
Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive, my young friend. It worked. It Let's worked. Go. Let's go. Lumos. This looks Quite like an Assassin's Creed reskin, really. The repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos. I mean, I've got 24 now. Surely that's enough. If I die now, then I'm just going to uninstall, I think. Hmm. Oh, I didn't hit him. Excuse me. It does have a lot of recovery time, you're right. I kind of prefer just the dodge. That way. But I've gotten into the habit of holding the button now. Which I don't think I should be. You prefer normal dodge lane? Yeah, I feel like I should use it. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Give them this way. We shall make quick work of them. Huh? They got this. It depends how leveled you are, boss. Time to move. We're in the thick of it now. We'll show the speed who's in charge. Your timing couldn't be better. Like I feel like I'm maybe one or two levels underneath where I need to be here. Make it work.
Full time. Story of my life, one or two levels under the level. <laughs> under the bar. I think I've got like 20 health kits, so I should be fine. As long as I concentrate. We're all good. Oh, Henry, there'll be a video within a week where someone plays the whole game without taking a hit. It's not as difficult as something like Dark Souls, you know? Ernesto, thank you for the two. Oh, we've seen this already. Can't skip this one. Pineapple belongs on pizza. It's a choice. I would never order it. If you want to order it, go ahead. I'd get something like pepperoni or chicken instead. The wand! Quickly! Eckball, welcome back. I remember you from yesterday. before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. I'm going to do what Miriam I did last time, you see. Forgotten magic could be used for such good. Soon as that's but what I picked first time. The risks. She did not see what the keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Actually, let's do it differently. I have decided to open the repository. Its power cannot lie dormant for centuries more. After Everything you've seen? What about Isadora's fate? That's kind of in the middle. Isadora knew she had a remarkable power. We can to use help it to help. People. I like that. I intend to use That's my good. ability to finish her work. Build upon it. But this could go wrong in so many ways. Don't worry, I've got you, this. Of all wizard kind, are wholly aware of the potential cost. I also know the promise, Professor. With all I have learned, I can avoid making the same mistakes Isadora did. I can learn to wield this magic for good. Uh, the arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs.
But I am going to increase the field of view here as well. Just so I can see the uh, the floating balls of doom a bit better this time. Where is it? Field of view. Need to learn that one. Easier than last time, now I understand it a bit better. Wow. I thought we were done. That's where we got to last time. Uh, I need to cruise him as well. Keep again. I'll take this as well. Should increase my spell damage a bit. Him again. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, 
damage out of that. Oh, almost killed me. I think I didn't need to dash there. Okay, if you return those, that does a lot of damage. In phase three. I look at that one as well. I'm gonna heal just in case. There's some more there. I assume this is the final stage. You can't run forever, Ranrock. Come on, give it me, give it me. Bit of dark magic for you, how about that? health potions here. Not good. I'm gonna return that one again, I keep missing it. Good 
Nearly got him, chat. Nearly got him. Just in case, I don't know if there's another stage. Concentration required. <laughs> we did it, chat. We pogged Pogwarts Legacy. Drop a like on the stream. Drop a like on the video if you're here, still watching. How many hours later today? Six hours later today. Wow. Thank you for being here. Let's get it done. I was close. He took a bit of power for himself there. Squeaky bum time, yeah, definitely. What ending we'll get. This is all new. I mean, I haven't sport myself. I just know that there are there is multiple endings. <clears throat> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Simon Pegg, don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. 
those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! Rest in pepperonis. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I realize the same should be done for my uncle. I hope Anne agrees to see me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian. There's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait. What? What are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. As for what happened in the catacomb, I've not stopped thinking about it. Perhaps we could meet soon. There's much I wish to say. He was directing his hate at the wrong people. But he did teach me the most powerful spell in the world, the Killing Curse. And I will be forever grateful for that. Because Harry Potter does not mess about. So that's the main quest completed, chat. Now, there are a few side quest congratulations you've completed the story of hogwarts legacy and reached the end of your school year with your owl exams fast approaching now is a good time to review your field guide progress explore the world finish any remaining relationships storylines side quests and complete your field guide as you see fit level 26 does it give you any cool gear for completing it It's a simple shirt. Yeah, I mean... I did a few side quests and assignments and stuff, and... I think we played for... Hold on, if I save, we can see how long I played for. Save game. Twenty hours. But there's a lot, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff to do in this game. I mean, all of these ones are like... Quests that are interesting. You know, they've got more story to them. They're with other students. And you'll go to interesting places. Like this one's about saving a dragon. This one's about a missing child. I could go and meet Sebastian just to see what he has to say. But I'm not going to do any more quests. But there's a load of side quests here too. 
And then like everywhere on the map is also like all these different like little hamlets. They all have NPCs there with quests. I haven't really been over there. And then there's all the little tasks that you can do in Hogwarts, like collecting the books, the field pages, the keys, doing all the puzzles, all that stuff. I'm just going to see. Oh, Wheezy wants to talk to me as well. I'll just go see Sebastian first and then we'll go see Weasley because I'm interested because this could be story stuff. You know, I don't want you guys to miss out on this, if you know what I mean. But I think you could spend, mate, if you wanted to 100% this, you, my young I guess maybe 50, 60 hours if you were quick. Is 2042 worth buying? I would play it on EA Play first, get the trial. She's devastated. And then see for yourself. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Well, you did murder your uncle. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... It's a dark oh, art. I was only trying to help. Potter. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Oh, ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> what an option this is. I mean, he did... He murdered someone. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I think we I should. Realize that, but it's a danger. It's the right thing to, to do. To all of the wizards. He killed his and uncle. And witches. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll tell the headmaster. Farewell for now. I've absolutely backstabbed him. After he taught me all those spells. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. We are snitching hard here, chap. We are snitching hard. You know, it's fine. Can't be murdering people like I do. He's competition. Older. Exactly. Exactly. You've got it, my friend. He is competition.
I mean, I did assist with the murder of Solomon. If you recall, there was a slight battle. And I'm pretty sure that I used several spells on him. The school is indebted to you. Who knows what would have happened with the loyalists if you hadn't been there? Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. I feel no remorse. Is almost always easier I feel no remorse. Than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu if not for a bit of bad luck. We all need a bit of luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are. Ain't innate. that right? I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea no. before we were to show them our skills. No. Liquid luck. That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something I know of a betrayal that happened in the last five I minutes, guys. I played so well. And remember Asuka that? Was playing remember the betrayal? Beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it it's wasn't drugs your fault. then. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my performance own. enhancing I drugs. Could not live with myself. Scandal. So in the wizarding world, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. Then she died. You didn't report her. Tell them what she'd done. Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands. As your fate oh, is in That's kind of making me feel bad you, about Professor. Sebastian. I shall remember what you've told me. Professor Weasley, I've got some news for you about your future great, great grandson ronald weasley he's a terrible student bad at spells and he will easily break his wand I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstone. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to see what happened. Please forgive me, cat. That's fine. Back in his good books. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. 
Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. Oh, she's going to roast me. She's going to be like, you've barely done anything. Why did you even bother playing the bloody game? What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this oh, year. Oh, okay, okay. I see some progress here, but quite a bit oh, of your field guide it has is. yet to be completed. There it is. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. I mean, Harry Potter is an absolute baller. He's essentially saved the wizarding world and prevented Hogwarts from melting down. You've got to watch out for that chest there, Miss Weasley. Someone else want to see me? The house cup. I should attend the end of year feast in the Great Hall. You have to get to level 34 for that. Yeah, so now, you know, I would, I'm would. i going to do these off stream, I think. Because what time is it? It's half past midnight. I've been up since like 8 a.m. I have a cold. My throat hurts. My head hurts. I'm hungry. I'm dying. But... I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I absolutely loved this game. I thought it was great. A lot of people asked what would I think for like a full playthrough, 100%. I think about 50 hours seems about right. Um, in terms of like review score, I'd give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Very good. Not many bugs. Great sense of adventure. Interesting characters, interesting story. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's Gets a bit muddled at the start, introducing everything, but I think when it becomes more about you versus the goblin, Victor Rookwood, it gets a lot better. Lots of variety as well. The combat's fun. Yeah. Good game all round. And once again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for coming along. I know I don't often stream this long or stream single-player games at all, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, it's good fun. And I'm sure we'll be back in the year... I want to say November 2025 for Hogwarts Legacy 2 on Unreal Engine 5, where we'll be going to Paris, London... We'll be coming back to Hogwarts. We'll be going to Diagon Alley. And it's going to look incredible. Can't wait for it. But with that said, look after yourselves. Look after each other. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.